Whole Foods is widely thought of as the place to go for natural and organic foods, but it may come as a surprise that the chain for the health conscious is under fire by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, which is giving Whole Foods until the end of June to address, quote, serious violations, unquote, discovered by federal regulators during a February inspection of a Massachusetts plant that supplies ready-to-eat products to 74 stores across the Northeast. In a warning letter to the chain, the FDA said Whole Foods has failed to manufacture, package, and store food in ways that reduce the potential for contamination and microorganism growth. The North Atlantic Kitchen Facility supplies prepared foods and other products to eight states, including Massachusetts, Connecticut, Maine, Rhode Island, New York, and New Jersey. On a long list of problems, FDA inspectors said they found foods like pesto pasta and mushroom quesadillas being prepared and stored in places where condensation was dripping from ceilings, a doorway, and a fan. Other problems include keeping dirty dishes near food, not supplying hot water at some hand washing sinks, and allowing high pressure hoses used for cleaning to spray into areas where foods like salad dressings were being prepared. A Whole Foods spokeswoman says the company has corrected each of the issues. The FDA says conditions exist in the plant that support the growth of dangerous forms of listeria, a potentially deadly bacteria, and that the plant didn't safeguard plant surfaces that touch food from, quote, contamination with chemicals, filth, and other extraneous materials, unquote. The agency has urged Whole Foods to improve its environmental monitoring program to verify the adequacy of its cleaning and sanitation operations. Prepared foods have become an increasing part of what grocers offer given high profit margins and consumers' increasing appetite for ready-to-eat meals.